everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another extreme clean with me. I started off this video a little bit different. I just got back from getting some groceries at Walmart as you saw in the clips here at the beginning of the video. Yesterday morning at 3 a.m. we got back from our long trip and so I've got suitcases full of dirty clothes. The house is a mess. We had no groceries so I started off the day by going and getting a bunch of groceries. I'm going to take all these in the house, get them put away, and then we are going to get started on sorting out all of the tons of laundry that I have to do and getting those suitcases and backpacks unpacked. So all of this is probably going to take me more than one day, so I'll probably be filming this video today and tomorrow. We'll see how much we can get done the rest of the day. It's already 1.30 in the afternoon, so I don't have too much more time left in the day. And I'm not feeling the greatest because I'm starting to catch a cold, so I'm just trying to push through and get stuff done, even though I'm not feeling 100%, but let's just get straight into this video. Before I could get started with the cleaning, I had to get all of those groceries put away and getting groceries, stocking your house up with food can be exhausting. You have to go and walk through the whole grocery store, filling up your cart, then you have to load it all into your vehicle, then you have to bring it home and load it all out of your vehicle and then put it all away. It can be really exhausting, at least to me anyway. Um, if I do grocery pickup, then it's not so bad, obviously, but sometimes you just have to go into the grocery store. After I got all of the groceries put away, the first thing that I had to do was to get a load of laundry started because like I said earlier, I had so much laundry piled up in the suitcases and everywhere that needed to be done, just loads and loads that I had to get started. So once I got all of that laundry started, I headed into the bedrooms to start getting some suitcases and bags unpacked. And I wanted to give you guys a really quick peek into the backpack that I used on the trip because I just loved it. And I think this is just the cutest backpack and I love that it has a laptop compartment in the back. This bag would be the perfect diaper bag or it was the perfect travel bag for me. I used it as my carry-on bag. There is just so much room inside of this bag, so many pockets. I had a ton of stuff in here. Um, some of the stuff is emptied out of here now, but I even had more stuff than this in there and I still could have fit a lot of stuff in there and it has so many great zippers on the front. The one that I have that little pom-pom attached to was where I kept my phone on the whole trip and yeah, it's just a really awesome bag. It was sent to me by the company company Azaria so I will put a link for it down below definitely go and check them out because they have beautiful bags and so now that I got my carry-on bag unpacked I am unpacking the suitcases and this was quite the job and I didn't do a very good job of putting everything back in the suitcase like when you leave on a trip you pack everything all nicely in the suitcase and then when you're coming home and everything is all dirty and stuff you just sort of stuff everything into the suitcases to take it home to wash it and so yeah everything was just stuffed in there and I had a pile of laundry. working on unpacking the second suitcase. This was such a job. My room was a disaster and also this was the first day of my cold like I said so I was feeling really miserable but I was so tired of my room being a disaster for the past day since we had gotten home and like digging through the suitcases trying to find stuff and just all the piles of laundry. I just had to get it all done and so that's what I was trying to do today and here I'm getting all of the bathroom items put away from our trip and then I was going to clean up the bathroom a bit while I was in here. I wiped off the counter 
countertop and stuff when I was done. And these travel bags that I have here for all of the bathroom items, these are from Lily Jade. I got these probably like two years ago and I always use these for trips. They're just great for that. I went ahead and used my foaming bathroom cleaner and then my cleaning wipes. The cleaning wipes are seventh generation and then the foaming bathroom cleaner is Method brand and both of these are from Grove Collaborative. Just went ahead and wiped down the countertop just so I could have at least one room clean so far. So now I'm working some more on all of this laundry. I'm getting that load folded that was in the dryer and then I'm gonna get another load started in the washer. And the story of my life for the next like two days after this was just laundry. <laughs> Okay, so now it is the next morning. That was all that I got done the afternoon before, before I had to call it quits because it was just too much. I couldn't do any more, wasn't feeling very well. So now it's the next morning. I got my coffee and I'm ready to start tackling this cleaning. We're starting off in the kitchen to get this all cleaned up and then we'll move on to the rest of the house. And of course, there is more laundry. working on washing these dishes now and I had to wash one of my Montana jars before I filled it back up with flour. I love these Montana jars. They seal really well. I found the same ones on Amazon and I have them linked in my Amazon storefront. I have a bunch of stuff linked in my storefront like all my cleaning supplies that I use, my vacuum, my mop, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to check it out, the link is always down in the video description box. Now that the kitchen is cleaned up, it's time to get started on cleaning the living room areas. And yes, there is laundry here on the floor because the night before, after I shut off the camera, like later that night, I folded the load of clothes that was in the dryer. I only got half of it folded there on the floor, so I had to finish folding the rest of it today. And then there is that giant brown desk just sitting in the middle of the room because we got that for free and we haven't decided what we want to do with that yet. So if you're wondering why that's there, that is why. And there's some toys back the hallway and in the living room. So first thing I did was to finish folding that laundry and get it all put away.
So now I'm working on vacuuming the living room areas and a lot of you have been asking why I don't use my cordless vacuum anymore in my videos. I've been using this corded shark vacuum. This is the Uplight shark vacuum. I really love it. I'll put a link for it down below, but I've been using this vacuum a lot in my videos and it's because this vacuum has awesome suction and is great for when you do that like once a week whole house good deep cleaning. I love to just take this thing throughout the whole house. I don't like to use it on a daily basis. I use my cordless vacuum on a daily basis just for like the quick cleanup around the house. It's so awesome for that, but when I want to do that once a week deep cleaning, I like to get out this corded shark vacuum and just go through the whole house. Like I said, I'll put a link for it down below if you guys want to check it out. But I still really do love my cordless vacuum from Amazon. So many of you have bought that vacuum since I've been using it, which is so awesome and I really do honestly love it and I still use it a ton. I just have been using this corded vacuum a lot lately. Now I'm mopping all of the wood floor using my spray mop from O Cedar. I bought this off of Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon storefront as well if you go and check that out. And I did a good deep cleaning of my house before I left on this trip, but when I got back home, I just felt like I needed to do another deep cleaning in the house. Yes, all the laundry needed to be done and the house needed to be tidied up, but I just also felt like that I needed to mop the floor and I needed to dust everything. Like I just get always get that desire when I get back from a big trip that my house just really needs a good cleaning even if I cleaned it before I left I don't know is that just me or do you guys get like that too when you get back from a big trip Okay, so excuse the crazy cleaning hair, but it is lunchtime, so I need to get some lunch started. And being that I'm filming this extreme cleaning video, I'm trying to get a lot of cleaning and laundry done. I don't have a lot of time. I need something quick and easy. And look what the UPS just dropped off, my Home Chef box. Literally perfect timing because I need something quick and easy for lunch. And of course, Home Chef is sponsoring today's video. I've been privileged to work with them for like over a year now, so I'm sure that you guys guys know all about them. In the box that I got this week is one of their oven ready meals. So these are some new meals that they just recently added to their website. I got one in my last box the other week and it was just the best thing ever because these oven ready meals, you literally just have to mix all the ingredients together in one pan stick it in the oven and that is it. Like there's no prep work. You don't have to do anything but mix it together and put it into the oven. So if you guys try Home Chef, you definitely need to try one of these oven ready meals. And also if you do order from Home Chef, you don't have to get the box like every single week. You can set how often that you wanna get it. I get mine usually like once a month, so I just get a little break for a few days once a month and get my Home Chef box. I'll give you a peek at what else is in my box before we get started making this oven ready meal. So I also got ingredients to make one of their smoothies. Their smoothies are always so yummy, so I always have to add one of those 
tomatoes to my box. And I also got this easy pasta meal. This is a five minute lunch. So there's no cooking required. Everything comes in these great little bags. And another great thing about these oven ready meals is that they come with a disposable pan. So it makes it even easier. Like you don't even have to wash dishes after you make this meal. And just like that, this oven ready home chef meal is ready to put into the oven. That literally took me like less than five minutes. This thing is such a lifesaver. If you want to give home chef a try, which I highly recommend that you do after using them for over a year, I have nothing but good things to say about them. So I definitely recommend that you go and give it a try, especially since I have a coupon code for you guys. The coupon code is Hannah 80. I'll have it come up here on the screen. And with that coupon code, you can get $20 off of each of your first four boxes. So that's a total of $80 off. I will have the Home Chef link down below as well as all the information typed up if you want to go and check them out. And thank you again to Home Chef for sponsoring this video. So after lunch, it was time to tackle the boys' bedroom. It had gotten to be a disaster with packing bags and stuff before we left. The room was kind of messy, and then, of course, it got messy when we got back with unpacking and everything. Clothes were everywhere. Toys were everywhere. So I needed to go through this whole room and get it back to normal. boys bedding is from Betty's Beds. This is zipper bedding so it's super easy to make the beds. Super easy for the boys to be able to make their beds. If I can remember I'll try to link these down below. This is the dash bedding set from their website and the boys usually can zip up their own beds for the day but I'm just going ahead and <laughs> zipping up their beds while I'm cleaning up the room. We need to get into the routine of them making their beds every morning when they wake up and Owen's bedding wasn't on his bottom bunk because I had been washing it so I just stuck an extra sheet on the bottom of there but that was all dry and ready to put back onto his bed and so I went ahead and did that here.
And that is going to be it for this whole house cleaning extreme clean with me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Doing those two things always helps out my channel so much. And also please subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join. And thank you again to Home Chef for sponsoring this video. You guys can go and check them out with the link down below. And don't forget to use my code HANNAH80 to get $20 off of each of your first four boxes equaling a total of $80 off. And thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.